The Digestive System Written by Harriet Blackford What is digestion? Our bodies need fuel to move, grow and stay strong and healthy. This fuel comes from the things we eat and drink. Food and drink have to be broken up into very small pieces for our bodies to use. We call this digestion and it takes place in our digestive system. Mouth Tube to stomach Liver Stomach Pancreas Large intestine Small intestine Why do we eat different types of food? There are many different types of food. Foods like meat, fish, nuts, eggs, cheese and milk are important for growth. Energy for playing and working comes from foods such as potatoes, rice, pasta, bread and cereals. We also get energy from fatty and oily food such as cooking oil, butter, nuts and seeds. These foods are important for our health too. We need to eat a variety of food, including fresh fruit and vegetables, to make sure our bodies grow and stay healthy. This is called a balanced diet. Eat your greens. Fruit and vegetables are a very important food type for our bodies because they contain a lot of vitamins and minerals. They also contain fibre. This is not a food but helps our digestive system to work properly. It is also found in wholemeal bread, pasta and rice. Vitamins and minerals have many jobs to do in the body, such as helping to grow strong teeth and bones. They keep our skin soft and supple and help wounds to heal. Without enough vitamins and minerals, you'll feel tired and get ill easily. Vitamins and minerals give us the energy we need to do exercise. It all starts in your mouth. Digestion starts in your mouth. As you chew, your teeth grind the food up into small pieces and your mouth becomes juicy with spit. Spit makes the food easy to swallow and starts to break it up into even smaller pieces. Teeth Mouth Tongue Throat The Long Trek after it's been swallowed, a mouthful of food begins a journey of about 8 metres, which takes a whole day and night. Your throat takes the chewed food to your stomach via a long tube. The food doesn't fall down this tube, but is squeezed along by muscles in the walls of the tube. Long tube. Muscles squeeze the chewed food along to the stomach. 
stomach. Your stomach. Your stomach is a stretchy bag of muscle that can hold a whole meal of food and drink. It squeezes and churns the bits of food into a thick liquid. Your stomach makes special digestive juices, just like spit in your mouth, that break up the food into even smaller pieces. The thick liquid is then squeezed into a long, narrow tube called your small intestine. Stomach. Food bits and drink are squeezed along your small intestine. Small intestine. Lots of tubing. Your small intestine is the longest part of the digestive system. It has to coil and loop to fit inside your body. It's here the juices from your pancreas break down the food bits into pieces so small they can soak through the walls of the small intestine. In the walls, there are tiny tubes called blood vessels. Your blood carries away the broken down food bits to your liver. Liver, stomach, pancreas, small intestine. Important extra bits. Your pancreas makes more juices to finish the job of breaking down the food bits in the thick liquid. Your pancreas also makes juices that make sure your blood can give you the right amount of energy to rest or play. Your liver is really important as it uses the food you eat to keep your body working properly. It makes a yellowish juice called bile, which helps to break down fatty foods such as cheese and cooking oil. Liver, pancreas. The end of the journey. Your small intestine squeezes what's left of the thick liquid into your large intestine. Here, the water from your digestive juices and from the fluid you drink is soaked through the walls into the blood vessels. Water is very important. For example, your blood needs to be watery to move round your body. Digestive juices need to be watery to mix with your food. In fact, almost two-thirds of your body is water. Large intestine. Blood vessels carrying away water and digested food. Small intestine. Growing up and being fit and healthy depends on what you eat. Your body can only do this if you eat plenty of the right foods.